In this video I'm going to show you how to reinstall or restore your Windows 10 to factory settings with keeping or wiping all your data. And you can do it without any bootable media like USB, DVD, ISO image, etc. So, if you're facing the slow performance in Windows 10 or if you're dealing with some errors or viruses, or maybe you just want to prepare your laptop for sale, then you can easily reinstall your system in a few clicks. Go to Start menu and select Settings, click Update and Security, Recovery, click Get Started and Reset this PC. We have two options here, Keep My Files and Remove Everything. If you choose Keep My Files, Windows will reset itself to its factory default state and remove all your apps and drivers, but keep all your personal files and data intact. Here's the list of all apps that will be removed while keeping all your data intact. I have some files on the desktop in documents, so they will be fine. Click next and reset. This process will take about 25 minutes. As you can see, all the apps have been removed and Windows is set to its factory settings, except the background and your login credentials. All my files are still in the same place. Let's go back to reset options. In case if you select remove everything, Windows will ask if you want to remove all files from all drives or only from the drive where Windows is installed. Actually, you'll get this option only if your computer has more than one drive or partition. For example, if you keep all your data on D drive and your Windows is installed on C drive, then if you select this first option, all your data on D drive will be intact. And if you select this option, Windows will format all your drives. Whatever you choose, then you'll be asked if you want to clean the drives too. So if it's your own computer or if you do it for some users, simply choose just remove files. If you want to sell your computer, then select remove files and clean the drive. It will completely wipe your drive so that no one can recover your removed confidential and private data. And last but not least, if your Windows 10 won't boot properly or maybe there is a password which you don't know, anyway, if you can't get access to the recovery options, then you have to perform two unexpected system shutdowns. Turn on your PC and when you see the Windows logo, hold the power button down until PC shuts down. Turn on again and repeat the process. Then let it boot normally. On the automatic repair screen, click Advanced Options, then select Troubleshoot and click Reset this PC. Ok, you already know what to do next, but I want to point out that if you have a password for your or other users' accounts, and if you select Keep My Files option, it's not gonna reset your passwords, but if you select Remove Everything, then all your passwords and users will be removed. 